We're going to start uh, in a comfortable seat doing Nadi Shodhana, which is uh, alternate nostril breathing. So you're going to take one hand up and bring your middle and your uh, pointer finger to the inside of your palm. And then you'll be using your ring finger and your thumb, sitting up nice and tall. And let your eyes come to close. And then using your ring finger, gently close that nostril. Inhale through the nostril that's open. A full breath in, gently close both nostrils. Hold the breath. Release the ring finger and exhale through that nostril. Keeping the thumb gently pressing one nostril closed. Empty all of the air out. Then inhale through the ring finger side nostril. Fill your lungs completely. Sit up straight and tall with your spine. Use both ring finger and thumb to close both nostrils. Hold. Release your thumb and exhale through that nostril. Hold briefly on empty. Inhale through the thumb side nostril. Keeping the ring finger depressing the opposite nostril. Sit up tall, feel your ribs expand, close both nostrils, release ring finger, exhale. Hold on empty. Now we're gonna start to elongate our breath. Inhale for a count of six, five, four, three, two, one, close both nostrils, hold closed. And exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, through the thumb side. Keeping the thumb lifted, inhale, up to six, one, two, three, four, five, Six, gulp in, fill the lungs, close both nostrils, sit up tall, relax your shoulders. Release the ring finger, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push all of the air out. And then begin, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold. Gently squeeze both nostrils closed. Release your thumb, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Remove your hand away from your nose. Place both hands gently on your knees and now using both nostrils, take an inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, hold. Using your hands against your knees, gently pull your heart forward. Press through the top of your spine, up through the crown of your head. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold on empty. 
feeling the balance between the left and the right side. Again, inhale evenly through both nostrils. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold, seal your lips. Create a little lock at the very base of your throat, keeping that breath in. And then slowly release. Six, five, four, three, two. One. Your eyes are closed. Let me bring your eyes to open. We're going to move into Agni Stambhasana, so a fire log pose. Start with the left leg in front, shin parallel to the front of your mat, foot flexed, and then right leg over top, stacking your knees. And scoop back the glute flesh. Bring palms down on either side to support you in sitting up nice and tall. Again, feet flexed. You can always take a variation where you take the bottom foot and place the foot on the ground or leg extended. Otherwise, you want your shins to stack. You want there to be a triangle-like shape between pelvis, inner knee, and inner knee. And keeping the feet flexed, return back to your breathing using the prop of your fingertips into the mat on either side to keep you nice, upright, and tall. So at the beginning of my unexpected journey back to Wisconsin, flying solo with Teddy, <laughs> and then arriving to unfortunately missing, um, seeing my father-in-law, definitely needed to do some yoga. Um, it was a crazy chaotic house <laughs> where all of the sons were there. Um, one lives nearby, so they weren't actually staying in the house. But the other son was and his two kids and then the middle brother and his three kids uh, were there most of the day. So there are six children running around, cooking, cleaning up after <laughs> six kids and uh, seven adults. <laughs> So I kind of found this little place with some plants that overlooked uh, Lake Winnebago, which is where Bill's parents' house is on. And I know, rolled out my mat a couple times. And one time my little niece, so she's the only girl, uh, she's 11 and does dancing. So, you know, I was kind of familiar with balancing at least, uh, decided to join me. And we actually, uh, we got to some balancing postures which I will actually teach in tonight's class. And it was pretty cute because Nikki saw us and she took a photo and I had to hold her hand. So if you ever feel like you're wobbly in tree pose, Rakasana, know that everybody gets wobbly. It's, it's just hard, right? It just is a journey of practicing, steadying yourself and finding balance despite rocky circumstances. Okay, I think this hip is nice and open. So we're gonna move into a side stretch. Take your right hand down, lift your left arm up, and then reach overhead. Now imagine that I placed a bean bag or was gently pressing down on that left hip so that your left hip stays grounded. And you can maybe move the right arm out a little bit, maybe even bring the whole forearm down. Inhale and focusing on just the left side. So pushing the breath into the left side ribs. Can maybe let your neck release. Palm is face down as it reaches overhead, inhale. And exhale. So coming off of maybe a little chaotic Wednesday Allowing yourself to carve out this time, not letting the proceedings of the day or what's coming after pull you out of this present moment. Inhale, slowly come up. That left foot, left hand come down. Bring both of your legs out in front of you and you can just let your knees drop. 
either side, kind of rinsing out that side. And then we'll set up right shin on the bottom. Flex that foot, place the left leg over top. Setting up, maybe scooping those glutes back so you have a nice tall stance. Bring your fingertips down by your side, pull them in and then press down so that you lengthen in your spine. Sitting up tall, listening to the sound of your breath. Maybe letting your eyes come to close or letting them softly focus on the floor in front of you or an object in the room. Bring yourself up in a position that's sustainable yet challenging. So it starts to build and develop over time. Letting yourself use your breath to really deepen your inhale, especially when you start to feel that heat built, when it starts to feel uncomfortable, when you start to feel like you're pushing the edge of opening up that left outer hip. You might notice thoughts coming in, wanting to take over your attention yourself acknowledge each thought like man I shouldn't have eaten right before yoga <laughs> or something like that <laughs> and then just let it continue on without letting it consume you without letting yourself dwell on that thought though you were a tree in a snowstorm it's blowing around you. Do you stay strong and still? Feel the roots growing down through both your hip points and reach the crown of your head up even taller. Finding strength here. Finding some stillness despite chaos all around you. A deep breath in through both nostrils evenly. Exhale. And then keep pressing down through the right hip. Inhale, right arm up. Walk the left fingertips out. And exhale, stretch overhead. Now focus the breath into the right ribs, the right lung. Inhale. Exhale, release your left ear down towards your left shoulder. Continue to breathe in and out. So even if you get a little bit pushed over in the wind, you still feel your roots pressing down into the soil. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, press through the left hand, slowly come up. Unwind your legs, bring them out in front of you, drop your knees to one side and then the other, letting your hands drop back. And then slowly Roll forward, coming into all fours. Hands under shoulders. Knees under hips. We're gonna be working a lot into the side bodies, finding length individually, and then trying to bring it together, finding length through both sides. So here in all fours, and extend the left leg long and just roll a little bit forward and back. Feel the weight too in your hands moving from fingertips into the heel of your palm. 
And then the left side will be the first side. So you're going to take the left leg up and over the right foot. So it comes even off the right side of your mat. And start to move your gaze back. So you can actually see those toes. Maybe you can start to walk your left arm forward and a little bit over to the right side. Fingertips pressing down, reach your left ribs to the left side. Take an inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale, puffing the left ribs out. Exhale, move your gaze back forward, walk the left hand underneath the left shoulders, lift the left leg up, and then bend the knee, bring it back down. Extend your right leg, and then gently heel. Stretch through the heel, pressing back, and then walk forward onto the toes. And then coming to stillness, lift the right side up and over to the left side of the mat. So it's all the way off the mat. Keep pressing down through your right hand. Gaze back to your right toes. And now start to walk the right hand forward and off to the left side of your mat. And let your chin drop down a little bit in towards your chest as you keep gazing back towards your right toes. Inhale into the right ribs. Imagining all the way from those toes, all the way to the right fingertips, lengthening out, creating a bow-like shape in the side body. Inhale. Exhale. And deep breath in. And out. Move your gaze back up to those right fingertips. Bring them back under your shoulder. Recenter your weight. Come back and bend the right knee. Swing both knees around. Move into Janu Shirshasana. And going into a revolved or Pravita Janu Shirshasana, which usually we do a little bit different. So you're going to extend the right leg out. Pull the left heel in. And we'll come down, lift the left arm up. So we'll get into that side stretch. So this one's pretty familiar. We do this a couple times, at least this year so far. Get your neck release. Then move your gaze down to your extended right knee. Start to bring both fingertips, the extended one out and down. And now you're going to straighten so that you're folding over that extended leg. So your chest is now reaching for that right knee. Take the left hand and see if you can move it to the outside of that right leg. So maybe you catch the outside of your foot and if not your foot, then the ankle or the calf, doesn't really matter, but I want you to be able to get a hold of something. Inhale, feeling a stretch now again, all the way down the side body, maybe a little bit more in the shoulders. And exhale, fold. And inhale. And exhale. Now you can use that right hand off to the right side. And as you inhale, maybe press a little bit into that hand to lift your chest. And exhale down. Then release the left hand. Inhale, slowly use both hands to lift yourself up. Recenter, and then we'll switch sides. Extend the left leg out, draw the right knee in. So we'll start with the side bend, placing your forearm down to the inside. Inhale, right arm up. And exhale, reach it overhead. 
So finding a lifting length, inhale. Exhale, drop your gaze down to your knee on that left side. And then bring the right hand down. Frame that extended leg with both hands, inhale. Exhale, bring the right arm outside of the left leg. Grab a hold of foot, ankle, calf, whatever you can get a good hold on. Inhale, so you feel that tension between hand and foot. You can again use this outside hand to press and then exhale, hold. Inhale, feel the breath move into the upper back. Exhale. I'm finding some moments here of stillness, very small movements, mostly associated with how deep and how expansive your breath can be. Letting your head release. And final exhale, finding the deepest fold yet. Release that foot. Inhale, press through both hands, walk yourself back up into center. And then you're gonna slide your legs to match. Grab one block. We're gonna come down onto our back. So we're gonna do some ab work and we're gonna use the block here against our pelvis. So you're gonna bring your knees up, feet flex, and then open your knees out wide. Take the block and place it right between your legs and place one hand on the block. Flex your toes back. The other hand you can use to support your neck or you can use it to reach through. Inhale. I want you to think about curling your pelvis up into the block and you can gently press with your hand down. Now it's not going to be like a really strong, you know, if your bladder is full, you'd have to go pee kind of pressure, but enough that you can kind of feel and push your pelvis into something. And then exhale, curl up, trying to keep that pelvic tilt lifting up. So again, hands can reach through or you can support your back. Inhale, lower down, keep the head lifted, upper shoulders, push your pelvis into the block. Exhale, curl up, feeling even more the ability to push your pelvis into that block. Inhale, feel your spine unfurl, get long, keep those toes flexed, shining the arches up, press your pelvis into the block. And exhale, curl up. Draw your navel down towards your spine. Inhale, lengthen, curl pelvis. Exhale, curl up. This time holding, inhale here on the lift. Maybe switch your hands if you'd like. Exhale, curl up a little bit higher. Inhale, hold the lift, press your pelvis more into the block. Exhale, curl up. Think about drawing the pelvic floor up. If you can, that's a lot to think about. So let that be the last thing. Inhale, hold, press pelvis up into block. Exhale, curl up, draw pelvic floor up. Inhale, lower all the way down. Take the block, move it off to the side, bring your hands to the outside of your knees and then gently draw them into close and then knees into your chest. Straighten your legs, inhale. Keep your left leg lifted, exhale, let your right leg come long. Keep both feet flexed, inhale, Draw the right leg up, exhale, left leg down. Hands can come by your side. So you'll either do this, inhale, exhale, letting the foot come all the way down. 
you'd like a little bit more of a challenge, you move the legs simultaneously so that they meet in the middle. If you'd like a little bit more of a challenge, then with the left leg lifted, you're gonna curl up, reach your hands, tap fingers behind the hamstring and lift your right leg to hover. Then switch and hands behind the right thigh. Keeping feet flex. That's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend your knees, place your feet down on the floor, and then gently lift up into bridge pose. Inhale. Hands either gripping the mat or your heels. Exhale. Press more through your feet, lift your pelvis up and out. One more time, deep breath in. And then exhale, slowly lower all the way down to the mat. Roll onto your side. <sighs> And then we'll come into a quick dolphin, 10 counts. So you'll lower down onto your forearms and if you'd like to, you can always use the block between the hands. I think I'm gonna do block today. Gaze back to your knees, tuck your toes, inhale, lift hips up. Keep pressing forearms down, inhale, walk your feet in and then exhale, relax your heels down. All right, taking 10 breaths here. Feeling where the breath moves. Inhale. Exhale. Find a steady, even rhythm, breath in. Breath out. Inhale, press your body deeper into the pose. Lift your hips high, forearms down. Exhale. Inhale, press into the pose, relax your neck. Exhale. Time, inhale, finding Exhale, the stillness, the strength of stillness, the potency of it. And then next exhale, drop your knees down. Walk your hands out, keep your knees under your hips. And then forehead down, press either hands into the block or into a prayer pose and drop them back behind your neck. Taking a couple breaths here to relax in your shoulders, in your hamstrings. And then send your arms forward, take the block, move it out to the side. And we actually, we won't need our, our props to start in this first flow. So you're gonna bring hands under your shoulders and. Press up and back into downward facing dog. Grip your fingers down, lift your hips high, take an inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And walk your feet a little bit closer in, one footprint or so. Press down through your right hand and tend to your left and so just finger pads are reaching down. Start to drag the left hand back and across, finding the outside of your right leg. And so 
again, it can be at the ankle or maybe calf. Continue to press down through the right arm and draw your chest around. So that you're looking underneath your armpit. And inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And then exhale, release the left hand, bring it back down. Hold your shortened down dog, pressing both hands down equally and pressing into both feet. And you might actually be able to get heels all the way down here. Okay. Hey, what are you doing up here, buddy? You're supposed to be hanging out with dad. <laughs> okay. Somebody's eating pizza. All right, press your left hand down now. And then tend up your right fingertips. Take a breath here. And then exhale, start to draw the right hand down and through. <laughs> Reaching for the outside of your left leg. Hand finds the outside and again, it can be high or low. Get a good grip, inhale, and exhale, pull. And then move your gaze so now you're looking under the left armpit. Keep strong in your left arm, take an inhale. Exhale. And then slowly release the right hand and step back into your normal distance down dog. Inhale. Exhale, hold the down dog. One more time, inhale. And then exhale, walk yourself all the way to the front of your mat. Finding Uttanasana forward fold. And also finding your four-year-old has crashed your yoga class. Where is dad, hun? Okay. Inhale, press up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, fold. Press down through your feet. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, reach arms up over high. And then exhale, bring your hands down to heart center. Feet down, inhale, reach your arms up again. And then taking your right, or yeah, right wrist with your left hand, you're gonna reach up and overhead. It's important to start to gaze just at something that's not moving in front of you. So move eyes off the screen. Continue to pull us down into that right shoulder. And then take the right foot, sweep it back and behind you. So very similar to what we were doing in all fours. So right toes, right hand are on the opposite side, moving your crescent moon shape. Inhale and exhale. So yeah, even when there's chaos all around you, just find some stillness, breathe in and out. And slowly coming back up, <laughs> standing with both arms up overhead. Exhale, hands down to heart center. So re-center, press down through both feet. Let your thumbs rest on your sternum. And press your feet down. Inhale, reach your arm up. Take the left wrist with the right hand and exhale, reach overhead. Keep pressing down through the left foot to start. Inhale, exhale, plug the left shoulder down. So you're not like pulling that arm all the way out, but you're keeping integration. And then you're going to sweep 
the left leg back around and behind you. Start to reach the left ribs out even more to the left side as you pull with your wrist. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Slowly come out, press both feet down. And exhale, hands down through heart center. You walking down the stairs now, Teddy? You gotta be careful. Just, you can put that on the table and I'll bring it in afterward. Or you can walk it down by yourself if you want. All right. <laughs> Rest of your feet, inhale, reach arms up. And then exhale, come all the way down into a forward fold. Inhale, press into your shins. Press your hips back, crown of your head forward. And exhale, fold. Plant your hands down, step both feet back, come into a plank. Inhale. And then rock forward, exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Press your hands down. Inhale, reach up, cobra pose. And exhale down, press your hands down, tuck your toes, up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Look forward, inhale. Bend your knees, exhale, step or take a little hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Let the crown of your head release. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands down to your heart center. Inhale, lift up. Grab the right wrist. Exhale, side stretch and swing the right foot back. Inhale, come back to center. And then we're going to move right into the left wrist, reach it overhead, sweep the left foot back. Inhale, center. And exhale, fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant your hands. You can either step or take a little hop back with soft elbows. Inhale. Exhale, lower down all the way or halfway into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, strong leg. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out. And inhale, exhale. Inhale, look forward. Bend your knees, exhale, step or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Sweep arms wide. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, right side. So pulling the right wrist over, right leg back. Pause on empty. Inhale, pull up into center. Grab the opposite wrist. Exhale, over to the right side. Left wrist over to the right. Pause on empty. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, all the way down, forward fold. Teddy just told me this looks like karate. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands, step or pop back. Inhale, exhale, lower down halfway, all the way. Push through your feet, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, down dog. Take a deep breath in. And deep breath out. And inhale. And exhale. All right, from here in your down dog, you're gonna take your left knee and bring it down to the mat, just under your left hip. Spin the right foot down so the heel is grounded. And then keep your left foot hand down as well. So you've got a line, hand, knee, shin, all the way to the arch of the back foot. Pull the right arm up 
and lengthen it straight up to the ceiling for a modified Vashisthasana or side plank. Inhale, flip your palm overhead. Exhale, reach your fingertips overhead. So again, bowing the right side. Keep pressing down through the right foot. Ground and draw in at your right shoulder so it's got integration. And then press more through your fingers. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, bring your right hand down and now walk your hands all the way to the right side of the mat. Pivoting on that knee carefully, bring the left toes back. Keep that right foot grounding down. Now walk your hands in and you'll come up into gate opener pose. Inhale, stretch both arms up. And then right hand, so I'm not mirroring you right now. Right hand goes down the extended right leg. Extend your left arm overhead. We're stretching the opposite side. Take a deep breath in and out. Flex your ear down to your shoulder. Inhale and exhale. One time, inhale. Exhale, let that left hand come down all the way to the mat. Walk your hands back forward. Now imagine you had your legs set in a cast so it can't move, stuck in this vertical plane. Walk your hands forward. So you're pulling and stretching your torso and then let your head drop down. Inhale. Think about pulling your hips away from your fingertips. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Walk your hands back to the left side. Pivot on that left knee. Pull the right heel up. And step back into your down dog. Take an inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, lower your right knee down now. Pivot on the ball of your left foot and line up your right toes with the arch. Then plant your right hand in line with your knee. Inhale, lift your left arm up. Think about pressing your hip a little bit forward. So glutes are drawing in. Flip your palm towards the front of your mat. Exhale, extend your left arm overhead. Keep pressing down through that left foot. Inhale, expand in the left ribs, bowing the left side of the body. Exhale. Inhale. Doesn't it feel good to just lengthen in the side body? So we're continuing to stretch to lengthen. Inhale. And then exhale, bring the left hand all the way down. Start to walk both hands over to the left side of the mat. Pivot gently on that right knee. And then coming up into, again, gate opener pose. Left leg is extended. Press down through the ball of that left foot and through the outside edge. Inhale, reach both arms up. And then let the left hand drop down the strong left leg. Reach your right arm overhead. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Inhale. And exhale. Pull your shoulder into place, drawing it down. That also turns on serratus anterior. So that's the muscle that's like along the side body, kind of pulls that wing of the shoulder blade down. Inhale. And exhale. More time, press into the right ribs, inhale. And exhale, bring the right hand down. 
Walk both hands again forward. So they're underneath your shoulders to start. And then keeping your hips in line with that leg, walk your hands forward. Grip down through your fingertips. Take an inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, let your chest drop down as you dig your fingertips down and pull your hips back. Three more breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Start to walk your hands back in. And then over to the right side. Lift the left heel up, pivot back on that right knee, and step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Last time, deep breath in, and exhale. Bend your knees, look forward. Step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. And then exhale, bring your hands down to heart center. All right. So we're going to try that side stretch again. This time, adding a little bit more of a challenge, which is balance. So what happens when we unroot one leg and then we're still blown over in the wind, right? It's a little bit harder to keep yourself upright and you really have to focus, not let those thoughts pull you away. Instead, reach down, keep pressing through those roots that are still connected. All right, so we'll, I will mirror you just in case you do look up at the screen. Press down through the left foot, lift the right knee up. Draw your navel in. Think about that work we did in the abdominals where you gently pressed your hips forward. Notice how your core starts to turn on. Right, now you're gonna reach down with the right hand, grab that foot, lift it up and place it in tree pose. Keep a strong, but slight bend in that root that's still grounded down. So only half the root remains. Bring hands back to heart center. Shift your gaze to a spot that is not moving. Inhale, reach your arms up. And we're gonna reach for the left hand. Left wrist and start to reach it overhead. So the grounded foot and the fingertips on that side, the side that we're stretching. It's like you could press that foot more into the left side body to deepen the bow. Whew. Notice all the little movements in your grounded foot working to keep you balanced. Keep, keep thinking about as you are pulling long and extending those left fingers, the right shoulder, the left shoulder keeps drawing down. The left foot keeps pressing down into the earth to stabilize. Notice if you let go in your core, Turn on your core, bend your knee maybe a little bit more so that you can stabilize. Slowly release that wrist, come back forward, hands down, and bring that foot down. Get your feet out a little bit wide, gently roll your hips in one direction and then the other, keeping a bend in your knees. You want to you can kind of just shake it out it's a really good way to 
just kind of reset and shake off any Klingons of, you know, thoughts, whatnot. And then loosen up your arms, just shake your arms a little bit, close your eyes so you're not getting self-conscious, maybe rolling your shoulders you and try gentle twists if that is a little bit more controlled and more your style to let go, or you can keep going with the shaking. Letting it all get a little bit organic, a little bit loose. And start to slow down the movement. Come back into center, pressing your feet down directly underneath your hips. And hands to heart center. Let your thumbs gently rest on your sternum and start to find that one spot that's not moving. Press down through your right foot, lift your left knee up. Right away, you can feel that slight pelvic tilt. So it's not super exaggerated. You're not finding a curvature in your low back. It's enough to draw the navel in, turn on your core. Start to feel getting a little bit off center, out of balance. But with the foot that's remaining on the ground, keep pressing down, find the ball of the foot, the heel of the foot, roll a little bit the way to the pinky side and then the big toe side. Keep a gentle bend in your knee. Release your left hand down, find your left foot, draw it up and place it on the inside of your right standing leg. Again, it doesn't have to be at the inner thigh, it could be below the knee or even at the ankle. And pause, bend a little bit in that standing knee. Inhale, reach both arms up. Reach for that right wrist and then exhale, slowly start to pull it overhead. Imagine again that heel on the bottom of your foot is pressing so that you bow out even more through that right side. Woo. Find your breath, find the rhythm and the cadence. Hold down through your right shoulder, find it grounding you down all the way through the right foot. Things get wobbly, just reset, rebuild the pose all the way from standing if you fall out. Taking the same care to set yourself back up in the pose, not rushing. Inhale, draw your arms back up. Feel as the weight comes back into midline. Exhale, hands down to your heart center. Easier to balance and then dropping that left foot down. And move the weight a little bit side to side. Rolling out hips. Rolling out shoulders. This time, making circles. So maybe with wrists. You can even make circles with your ankles. Just finding a way to make circles. It could be hula hoop loops. It could be rolling your neck. And then go in the opposite direction. Circles are also a good way for us to release anxiety, reset, come back into center, everything makes a full circle. Walk your feet back in. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale as you calm down. Fold all the way in half. Inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, fold. Find your blocks. Bring them to the front of your mat. Plant your hands down and you'll actually use the blocks underneath both hands. So you're gripping down into those blocks. Lift up halfway. 
and then exhale, fold. Hands still over the blocks. Step back into a plank pose, holding the blocks. Inhale. Exhale, lower down halfway. Inhale, pull your chest up and through, upward facing dog. Trying it with the blocks, feeling a little bit maybe more lifted, elevated. And then curling over your toes. Exhale, press up and back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in and out. And you can move the heels of your hands to that upper corner of the block if you'd like to. Hopefully you have something nice and sticky for a yoga mat. So there's so much friction as you press down through those blocks that they don't move. Relax your head down. Move your feet a little bit wider. As wide as the mat. Inhale, bend your knees slightly. Exhale, press. Your blocks keep slipping. You can move your hands off the blocks. Inhale. You can always keep pulling them back into. Exhale, let your chest melt down. Inhale. And exhale. And walk your feet back, hip width distance apart. Move the blocks a little bit wider. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, step your left foot forward. Feels really nice with the blocks underneath there. Here, you're gonna shift your blocks out to the side. Place your hands back down. Lower your right knee and the right foot down. You're gonna take this right hand, walk it a little bit forward, and then let the right hip start to drop down. Your left toes are gonna pivot it a little bit out to the left side. Wrap your right, your left arm around your left knee and let your chin drop in for a lounge lunge. So finally, getting the more passive stretch into the right side. It's almost like you're dropping in a spiral down towards that right outer hip. Left toes might lift up, you might move the weight into the left outer, outside of the foot. Slow down your breathing and let your body get heavy. Just feel the structure of the right hand holding you up like a pole. Take another three breaths. Feeling the breath moving down into the right lung, right bottom tip of the lung. And then slowly unwinding as you inhale. Plant the blocks back down under your hands. Tuck your right toes, press up. See if you can step the left foot back without scraping it on the mat and then press back downward facing dog. Then you can move your heels of your hands into that corner of the block, press back. If you'd like to, taking the legs out wide, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Ah, oh, so much room to step it forward, so nice. Draw your chest forward, move the blocks out of the way and let your hands come down, left knee down, top of the left foot down. Walk that left arm forward. Start to move chest over to the right side. Letting those toes pivot out and using your right hand to hug around your right knee. Drop your chin down into your chest and you know it takes several breaths for your body to start to relax for the muscles to let go. 
to feel that left shoulder shrugging up into the left side of your neck. Inhale. Exhale. Can you let your hips go a little bit closer towards the mat? Feel the pulling, the tugging of the fascia. Lengthening into the left side ribs. Keep breathing. And feel yourself kind of spiraling into center around that left outer hip point. Channeling Salvador Dali, imagine that you were literally letting your body melt as though it was liquid. Letting gravity start to pull you down and it's giving into that heaviness, letting yourself drop. This time, you're gonna move your gaze to the right foot and just start to heel toe that foot back. Feel your whole left side drop down onto the mat and then extend that leg down. You center yourself on your mat, probably a little bit off to one side and then lower yourself all the way down onto your back. Extend your legs and if you'd like to, you can pull the blocks in underneath your knees for Shavasana. Feel both your shoulders dropping back into the mat. You notice if it feels a little bit easier to breathe. There's more room between your hips and your shoulders for your lungs to expand into. You can push your breath into the sides of your lungs bottom tips and all the way to the top as you take deep breaths in and compress all of the air out. I'm feeling a heaviness drop into your body. See if you can surrender now completely into the mat. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. And then pull both of your knees up, planting your feet down and you had a block sliding it out. And draw both of your knees into your chest. Inhale. Maybe feeling your ribs press into your thighs, cross your ankles, lift your heels up, and then exhale, simply roll up into a seat. Bring hands back to your knees, pull your chest through, lift through the crown of your head, take an inhale. Exhale, try and hold that length as you brought, bring your hands together to heart center. Your thumbs rest on your sternum. Again, inhale, lifting up, draw thumbs to third eye center. Be curious. Follow your bliss. Namaste. Namaste.